What's up and welcome back to Interpreting the Scares! That's right, we're back at it on our month-long journey throughout the nightmares. But remember, this month I'm taking a look at 31 foreign horror films in chronological order. We've already talked about the blunt of most of those Ringu series films, but now we're hopping onto another famous horror franchise, Juwan, otherwise known as The Grudge in America. This first film in the series is called Juwan the Curse, though. Let's get cracking. So, what does Juwan mean? It's ultimately a curse that is born when somebody dies in the grip of a powerful rage, and that curse leaves behind a stain. If you touch the stain, you yourself die, and you create a new curse, so on and so forth. This film specifically focuses on Kobayashi, a school teacher that tries to figure out why in the world a student has not been showing up to class at all. This leads him to a mysterious home where he finds that student, home alone, in a disturbing mess. And it only gets worse from there on out. So what do you need to know about this movie? I think that most Americans are aware of what we did by remaking the series Into the Grudge. I mean, we were pretty big on that, despite the fact that none of the Grudge movies are really all that great. But what I actually found surprising was that this series didn't start with The Grudge. Heck, I thought Juwan meant Grudge, but I was wrong. The way this series works, it's ultimately it's a bunch of two-parter movies. This one's called Jew on the Curse, the next one's Jew on the Curse 2. And then there's Jew on the Grudge, Jew on the Grudge 2. And then there's Jew on the White Ghost, and then Jew on the Black Ghost. So on and so forth. You see the pattern here? I think that's actually pretty unique. And that alone gets me kind of excited to see what the franchise has to offer. Because based off of the title alone, I would say that that legitimately sounds like a curse or even a virus spreading and branching out into different stories, different characters, which can technically be seen in this movie alone, since the film focuses on a lot of different characters interacting with the curse in various ways, and they do this in a non-linear fashion. There's also a story in the movie that I think plays out a lot better than the American version with characters that actually have depth and have a reason to them. The Juan curse is based off of rage, which exists in the American version, but it was more of a formality for us. It was just something that you basically had to accept. In this though, you feel it a lot more realistically and authentically. The scares likewise are legitimately frightening, which is I think the first time I've ever said that at all for a grudge related movie. Towards the end, when Kobayashi is surrounded by a bunch of ghosts that were, you know, affected by the curse, there's just something about how that specific scene was shot and edited that works really, really well. It works really, really well, even if it doesn't make a lot of sense. And the American version, I would say that that's the part that seems to be the same, that not a lot of it makes sense. It's partially confusing because of the non-linear storytelling, but the way that the ghosts operate and why they do what they do, that's always been a point of confusion for me. And it leans much more heavily into jump scare territory for jump scare territory sake. Why the ghosts sound the way they do? Why does the kid meow? I will never understand that. Why do the other spirits have that guttural sound? You know, uh... Who knows? But it is memorable and it's off-putting enough to freak out any audience member. It's actually spookier yet when it comes down to just how absolutely amateur the film feels. There's like almost no production value behind this film. It's full screen, the quality itself is pretty darn low, the actual scares really just come down to the vision of the director. And that's really important to note because high budget, low budget doesn't seem to matter. The scares here, they're not expensive, they're an idea. 
and ideas come free, especially from directors who are passionate about what they're doing and how they want certain things to come across. I'd actually say that the low budget part of the movie helped everything make the film feel scarier. It's also short, just over an hour long, so it doesn't actually even attempt to include filler crap. It gets to the point and it does it effectively. I'm curious though on where they'll eventually take the story because more than ever, I'm actually invested. The idea of the grudge or our version was exactly the same. It's a curse, it's spreading, but it didn't feel like it was spreading like a virus in the American films. It just felt like a haunted house story, plain and simple. This though felt legitimately like something was spreading, something evil was getting around everywhere. And that's what makes this film pop for me. Let's go ahead and break down my final score for a second, which I rated you on the curse in A minus letter grade. Final overall score of 85%. 85 out of 100 possible stars. I think that it was effective, which was kind of a shock to me when I turned it on. I mean, first of all, I never really liked any of the American Grudge films, and the fact that the production value started off so low, let's just say that I was definitely kind of worried. But as it turns out, it's well worth the watch. The scares are effective. The story is not terrible, but it's still kind of confusing as to why some things happen the way they do, but you don't necessarily care all that much because of how well other things go. Anyway, guys, have you seen the original Jew on Curse film? If so, I want to hear your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. How do you rank it among all the other Jew on Curse, Grudge, White Ghost, Black Ghost, all that? How do you rank it among that? As for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe button, and bell to be notified when I come out with my next film for interpreting the scares. And until then, peace out.